Welcome to Rockville, the biggest rock festival in America. May 19th through the 22nd at Daytona International Speedway with Kiss, Corn, Guns N' Roses, Nine Inch Nails. Welcome to Rockville. Get your passes now. <laughs> There appears to be internal differences brewing between two members of 311, one of the vocalists, Doug S.A. Martinez, and the band's drummer, Chad Sexton, about, you guessed it, politics. The PRP initially reported this. We've linked to their reporting in the description of this video. It all started with Sexton posting on True Social, which is a social media network founded by former U.S. President Donald Trump. He has talked a lot about the war in Ukraine. Apparently, his bandmate, Doug S.A. Martinez, was unhappy. He posted a poem on his Instagram, which appears to be aimed at Sexton. Of course, that is not clear. He did not say who it was about. But then Chad Sexton did post about how he feels and the internal political dynamics in the band. S.A. Martinez, he shared a lengthy poem on his Instagram, which appears to be about his friendship, his longtime friendship with his bandmate, Chad Sexton. And in part, it reads, somewhere the wires got crossed and now I feel light years lost from a real world cuz, how the fuck can that dude I knew ride for war? And how the hell do you love someone who prefers to be feared? In some parallel universe, that dude snatched a dream catcher from a co-ed rear view and is still running wild. I've long forgotten where that old cave lies and no longer can we dance and hide, but God, if I could, I would smash and pulverize that spider that has snared the drummer in its dark web. Seems pretty apparent that this is likely about Chad Sexton. Chad Sexton, for his part, did make a statement on True Social about all of this. He said, Love and understanding comes along with understanding people can be wrong. It doesn't mean they're bad people. Everyone makes mistakes. I was just basing info off my very good friend whose wife is from Kiev and whose dad was a three-star general in World War II there. They have a very interesting history. Sorry if I offended you. I'm not an international expert by any means. I think war is horrible. Hopefully we can move on from this now. You've spent all day on it. He continues, None of us want the ugliness of war. Thanks for your support over the years. I hope my apology was enough for you to forgive. The whole world needs more forgiveness instead of harassment, division, and hatred. Our band has always had differences in opinion on worldview, politics, and even musical styles. We are the shining example still in existence of people who have opposing views that can come together, make something truly unique and beautiful, and change people's lives in positive ways. Our hearts are in the same place and ultimately we want peace, love, and unity for the human race. We have dedicated our lives to express this in art. If 311 can do this, we all can. Let's come together with love and understanding and stomp out the hate together. This isn't the only example where members of a band have political differences, and I wouldn't place a lot of weight in this. The band has been together for quite some time, so it's clear that when you've been working together for decades that you will have disagreements. It's clear they know how to process those disagreements in a responsible way. So hopefully they will not allow this to create any member changes or any hard feelings towards one another. System of a Down really seems to do a very good job of having political differences and still going out and just crushing it on stage and putting on amazing performances. Anyways, let us know what you think in the comments as always. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.